Greetings metalheads and welcome to No Nonsense Metal Reviews. I'm George and today I'm back with another concert review in fact. Um, so it's been a while since I've actually reviewed a show but this one was particularly excellent. So I thought it was definitely worth doing a review and recommending these couple of absolutely exceptional bands to you. So last night or 20th of January trekked over to the Norwich waterfront a venue that I have been to, well, innumerable times. I have been there so many times. Uh, however, this particular show was actually in the upstairs room. So the slightly smaller room, but a fantastic room. Great venue there. Absolutely brilliant. It's only the second time I've been into that particular part of the waterfront. And it was for the headline show from Massachusetts death metal outfit, Fuming Mouth, uh, alongside local-ish... Uh, UK death metal, uh, rising stars if you like, the great Celestial Sanctuary, fantastic band. Uh, there was also a couple of local support bands. We had, uh, I think Final Nail was the first band on and the second one was called Hour of Reprisal. So unfortunately, um, I didn't manage to get there in time for the first act. I generally like to try and catch some of the support bands, you know, show some support. Um, you know, you never know if it's going to be the next best thing. Hey, but didn't catch Final Nail. Did, however, catch the second band on, Hour of Reprisal, which was, I guess it's kind of like hardcore. It's very punk ethic. You know, it's going to appeal to your fans of Napalm Death. Um, that kind of very anti-police, anti-establishment, revolutionary stuff. Hardcore. Not really my cup of tea. I will, I will be honest. Um... Not really my sort of thing, but they, you know, there's plenty of good breakdowns there, uh, some good grooves, and the crowd was loving them. They got a decent pit going, you know, considering this was like seven o'clock on a Saturday night. Really good response from the crowd, and, you know, I'm sure they'll go a long way. But for me, it was all about Celestial Sanctuary and Fuming Mouth. So this particular show was part of a UK tour, so I think there was sort of um, quite a decent run of dates actually and the first time that Fuming Mouth apparently have actually been over to the United Kingdom and toured this country so it was, a, it was a big occasion actually and even more cool than that the waterfront show in Norwich was sold out so it was actually a sellout show and it's interesting because my friend that I um, attended the show with me and him have been going to gigs for years uh, you know when Covid restrictions were lifted people started going to shows again we were we were straight straight down there absolutely and we saw unto others in that same venue and there was probably a third of the number of people at the unto others show as there were last night and i think that just kind of reflects the fact that people are going to shows more despite the cost of living crisis and all this business and the general complexities of and cost of day-to-day -day life if I personally feel, as someone who goes to gigs very regularly, um, that people are going out more, people are going to shows, and people are supporting live music and supporting bands because we all know it's well um, documented, it's it's well covered, the fact that it is very expensive and difficult for bands to tour. And you've got two bands kind of each night on this tour, you've got Fuming Mouth and Celestial Sanctuary touring together around the UK. That's going to be expensive business. Two pretty small bands, really, in the grand scheme of things. Great, fantastic bands that are going, going places, for sure. But they're, they're headlining, you know, the smaller venues. They're not playing the O2. They're not, they haven't got that kind of infrastructure. So for them, I can imagine it's an expensive and logistically painful business. However... Both bands put on a fantastic show, as did the support band and the local support that I did catch. So, enough about the background, let's talk about the show then. As I say, sellout and it was packed. Everyone was having a great time. It was freaking hot in there, absolutely roasting. Um, that's my fault for wearing the leather jacket over the top of the long sleeve and the pants jacket. Won't make that mistake again in that venue. So, Celestial Sanctuary then, we'll start with them. Did actually pick up a awesome tour shirt so it has got the dates on the back and then it's got some pretty brutal insatiable thirst for torment artwork on it um, this is a band that i've been following for uh, a little while now and i have to say i think they are 
one of the standouts in the UK metal underground at the minute, one of the real standouts in modern death metal. I think the Celestial Sanctuary, they've got the edge there. They've got something quite unique. They've got something quite organic. It's heavy. It's old school in its nature. I think it's it's closer to our old school traditional death metal. Um, you know, to our bands like Obituary and Six Feet Under and whatever. But they've got a modern incorporation as well. And they've got two fantastic albums out. They've got one album which came out last year, Insatiable Thirst for Torment. That album ranked very highly in my top 15 albums of 2023. And it's a solid album, reliable, death metal, evidenced here in cassette tape form. Uh, and they've also got a debut album, an album before that one, which was um, Soul Diminished, which is an absolute belter as well. Really awesome death metal. Gruesome gory and great so two albums decent amount of songs that they covered in their set they played some tracks from this brilliant uh soul diminished debut so they played the actual title track they played relentless savagery the absolutely excellent suffer your sentinence um i think that might have been all from that one but absolute belters Full of grooves, massive freaking riffs, really tight musicianship actually from these guys, live, vocals were on top form as well. And then from This Beast, as I mentioned, the Insatiable Thirst for Torment, absolutely solid album, love it. We got some absolute delights in the form of Glutted with Chunder, which is just absolutely fantastic. Uh, I think there might have been some others as well, but I can't quite recall song titles like which one it was um shame on me really but absolute belters nonetheless freaking great just one of these bands that i think they they easily stand out from what is quite a heavily saturated scene that said if you like bands such as tomb mold or blood incantation if you like bands such as um vomit forth or 200 stab wounds if you like that kind of gruesome death metal, more modern, you know, you've got doomier hints in there as well, and massive freaking grooves. I mean, talk about tracks like Suffer Your Sentinels from this absolute belter, or the Soul Diminished title track, you've got some colossal riffs. Absolutely brilliant. So it was a really good set list from the band. As I say, the musicianship was, was faultless, they were on top form there. Really good sound quality. It's a small venue, but the the sound is it was it was perfectly delivered you know really did carry its weight and it was just a solid set i will say good sort of crowd interaction from the band as well humorous but all round it was a solid performance from celestial sanctuary if you're not familiar with this band uk death metal check them out check out soul diminished which is an excellent album indeed and this monster insatiable thirst for torment uh, I've done full reviews as part of the recommendation review that I did for Celestial Sanctuary uh, a few months ago. So I'll put a link at the end of this video. But of course, the headliner was Fuming Mouth. So Fuming Mouth came all the way from Massachusetts, USA, come a long way to bring their very unique brand of old school death metal combined with crust and grind and hardcore. It's a really interesting mix, and I will admit, I think that they are very unique. Very unique, but they're a very, very freaking good band as well. So they've come all this way, and they delivered an absolutely exceptional set. The crowd absolutely loved them. You know, the in interaction from the band, you could tell that these guys were so grateful for everyone being there. Uh, we had the very sort of charismatic and humble frontman, uh, Mark Wellen, who's a brilliant brilliant guitarist and a fantastic vocalist he's got that excellent that sort of grind death metal vocal style that fits this sort of music absolutely perfectly but yeah tight musicianship this album was the album that came out in 2023 this is the second album so we've got two full lengths from fuming mouth as well just like celestial sanctuary two full lengths first album um i can't remember what that one's actually entitled 
I think it's The Grand Descent or something like that. Um, it's been out for a few years, but I haven't actually heard that one. I've heard like a couple of tracks on Spotify, haven't heard that one, but I came across Fuming Mouth with this album and uh, reading some things prior to the release of the album. Last Day of Sun is a solid, solid album. As I say, 2023, um, I listened to it a little bit too late to make that album or incorporate that album in my top 15 list. But to be honest, I think it easily, if it had come out a little bit earlier in the year, or if I had done my review a little bit later, this album could easily have made it in the top 15. It's a great combination of old school death, particularly in the sort of Scandinavian sounds. Um, it brings bands like The Great Entombed to mind, Dismember, brings more modern bands like Entrails or Lick, bands like that, uh, Ripped to Shreds, that kind of old school death, but combined with the, I guess, the more sort of punk, grind, crust, ethic of bands like Napalm Death, of course, or Extreme Noise Terror, uh, Benediction, bands like that. So you've got, a, you've got a real good mix there. It's energetic, full of crunchy riffs, absolute riff fest. And in this live environment, it absolutely translated perfectly. It's freaking monstrous. Absolute belters. So they started off the set with quite a good chunk of presumably tracks from the first album before giving us a succession of monstrous uh, tracks from this, this album. Uh, they played Out of Time, which is absolutely fantastic. The Silence Beyond Life, The Sign of Pain, I'll Find You, Kill the Disease. And yeah, I think that's kind of it. But from this album anyway, but uh, all brilliant. So good. Musicianship was really tight, on, on fine form indeed. A brilliant band. Absolute standout. And I do think the Fuming Mouth are going places. You know, they're, they're right up there in my opinion. I certainly have been listening to this album a lot. And I will continue to do so indeed. And it was worth travelling that short distance. Paying hardly anything for the ticket. I wish really that I had uh, been able to pick up some more merch. You know, from Fuming Mouth as well. But... Had to settle for this absolute delight, but I do love it. I think it's great. I love the sort of old school death metal aesthetics we've got going on here. So, Fuming Mouth from Massachusetts. If you like bands like your Entombed and Dismember, but if you also like your more modern stuff, your Ripped to Shreds, or if you like your kind of more grindcore stuff, crossed bands, then you're definitely going to dig Fuming Mouth. And do check out Last Day of Sun. Fantastic live band as well. So if you get a chance, I don't know if they'll be touring. Um, again, presumably they probably are touring their asses off to try and make ends meet. But if they come back to the UK or wherever you may be tuning in from, if you get an opportunity to catch Fuming Mouth, go and see them. Same with Celestial Sanctuary. Same with these guys. If you get an opportunity, go and see them. If you've never heard them, check these albums out. It's well worth your time. They are both bands that you need to hear. Some top quality modern death metal. Two bands are definitely the future of this particular subgenre. They're carrying the torch. Absolutely. So that is my interpretation of a stunning show. Really good. You know, humble stuff. It's humble settings. It's a small venue, but it was packed out on a Saturday night. Everyone's having a good time. The mosh pit was going crazy. But everyone was having good fun and supporting some underground death metal. So be sure to check out these bands, Fuming Mouth and Celestial Sanctuary. Be sure to support underground music and death metal. Keep it real, keep your venues going, keep the bands going. That's all my friends. Were you there? Have you seen these guys on this particular tour? Have you seen Celestial Sanctuary or Fuming Mouth before? I'm interested to hear thoughts and experiences of others, of course. But do check out the uh, Bands You Need to Hear review that I've done already on Celestial Sanctuary if you want to hear more about them. And you can see the uh, full review of Fuming Mouth's new album as well. Thanks very much for watching, my friends. Do feel free to like and subscribe. Do check back soon for more reviews and recommendations. But above all, my friends, take care of yourselves. Until next time, stay heavy.